Hello, and today let's do some division with word problems. Let's start with this one. And let's look, let's read it and look at what the important information is. So, Tia invites seven friends over to play Minecraft. And she has 21 diamond blocks to share in a chest. How many blocks does each person get? So, let's look at the important information. What we want to think about first is, um, what are the numbers that matter? So, there's seven friends, so seven is important. And there's 21 diamond blocks, so 21 is important. So, as we learned previously in, in some of the videos, the dividend is the number uh, your your first number. So 21 would be our dividend divided by how many people? So 7 equals our quotient, which we don't know yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some blocks over and let's look at it this. There's, there's 4, there's 8, there's 12, there's 16, there's 20, and there's 21. So I'm going to start with the blocks over here. And because there's seven friends, let's start moving these blocks into seven piles until we have none left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So now I'll move these into organized piles. And now we know that we have seven groups of blocks. And with these seven groups of blocks, we know that in each group, there are three. So before we do the division, let's look at, let's look at multiplication and we'll backtrack a little. So if we've got three in each group and then there's seven groups, three times seven equals 21. And we also know that this reversed is missing the three. So we know that 21 divided by seven is three, because there is three in each group, and there are seven groups. Three times seven is 21. 21 divided by seven people is three blocks per person. Now let's set these aside, and let's try another. So, let's look at the important information in this one. There it says, Abby, Jody, Dia, Miliana, and Daphne buy a mystery box together from a short read fundraiser. In the box there are 20 stuffed zombies. If the toys are divided equally among the students, how many does each student get? So, let's grab these. And I know I had 21 before, so I'll just take one out. Now, let's do the same thing we did before. Let's, let's look at what is our dividend. There it is right there. We know that there's 20 toys. Now we know as well that there are, you can see all the names of the people. So, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five people. So 20 divided by 5 equals, let's figure it out. So let's do the same thing this time. Let's move blocks over 1 in the amount of people that we need to split it. So let's say Abby gets 1, Jody, Dia, Liana, Daphne, and so on. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3. Three, four, 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 
four. Now let me move these so they look more organized and nice and clean. Two, three, four, five. So now you can see we have five groups. And how many are in each group? Four. So again, five. Five groups of four in each group equals 20. So we were trying to find out how many each person get. And if each of these represents a person, I'm writing the people here. It's taking me a little bit. But... So if each represents a person, that means each person gets four. So 20 divided by five equals four. Our dividend was 20. Our divisor was five. And our quotient is four. And that's the answer that we're looking for. Now, let's do one more example before I give you some examples that you can do at home. So, Aiden brings in a shipment of 28 Powell Peralta skateboards and wants to share them with the class. That is a brand of skateboard that's pretty cool. He knows that Sahawat, Christian, Caden, and Isaac would like them. If he keeps eight for himself, how many does each of the other boys get? So, this, this is a bit trickier than the others because... This one, we need to do some different operations. So let's look at what's important. We know that there are 28 skateboards. So let's write that down. We know that there are how many students? One, two, three, four students. So let's write that over here. And it says he keeps eight for himself. So what we want to do first is we want to go 28 minus eight. So that equals 20. So there, this, this is something that we would do um, when you want to be a little bit tricky. So 20 divided by four would be our question because he's only actually going to give 20 to the other people. He's not going to give 28. So that's why you always have to read the whole question. And the reason why I put it in here is because I want you to understand that you need to look at the whole question before you do it to make sure there's nothing else in there that um, you're missing. So if we know that it's 20 by 4, let's bring in 20 of these again and let's split them into the four people again. So I will do this. I will go um, S, I will go K, R, I will go K, H, and I will go I. And that way we know who is getting them. So let's start giving them there. And sometimes if you want, you can, you can take a guess and you go, okay, I'll give everyone three right off the beginning. Right off the bat, I'll give everyone three because it might be three that they I'm giving them, if I'm just taking a guess. And I was close, but not close enough. So that's four, five, 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 five. And that is 20 blocks there in four groups of five. So let's do the multiplication again. Let's go five in each group times four groups, one, two, three, four, equals 20. So, if we know that five times four is 20, and we know that each of these represents a person, then we can see that Sahawak gets five, Christian gets five, Caden gets five, and Isaac gets five. So 20 divided by four equals five. Now, Oh, and before we go, I want to remind you again that this is your dividend, this is your divisor, and this is your quotient or your answer, okay? Now, I'm going to, I'm going to show you these videos, and 
are these, uh, these pieces of paper, and these are the questions that you're gonna do. So just pause the video here, and then you can do the questions. You don't have to write down the question, just um, work on your answer. And I will, but as well, I will post the questions in the, uh, in the My Blueprint. So here is your first question. Eric has 12 Roblox gift cards and he wants to give them to other gamers in the class. If he gives an equal amount to Samar, Akash, Parnvir, and JB, how many does each one get? I think that's pretty straightforward. Now let's move on to question number two. And I'll write a number one here so that you know, so that when you're writing it down. This is question number two. There are three fearless students, Dylan, Tristan, and Courtney, in the class, and 15 large spiders have come in through an open window. Oh my goodness. If each student catches an equal amount, how many does each student catch? Okay, pause the video here, and do this question. And now I will move on to the third question. Number three, Daniel and Clayton are on a seven day camping trip near Harrison Hot Springs. They want to skip stones on the lake and work together to find 50. Suddenly an eagle swoops down. The boys both do simultaneous dive rolls like ninjas and avoid the eagle's grasp. Then the boys realize they have lost 26 of the rocks in the struggle. If they, skip the, if they skip the rocks equally, how many rocks does each boy get? So this one is gonna be similar to the third question I did before. It's got other information in it. So this is your, this is your ultra bonus question. Okay, this is the ultra bonus question. So do your best. If you can get this one, that would be great. And I have another challenge for you. If you like doing this so much, I want you to write, um, I want you to write one for me. I want you to do a question for me, kind of like this, a creative qu question using your uh, language arts and make it about division. So that's what I would like to see you do. Anyways, have a great day and good luck with division problems.